Hello and good evening and welcome to Country Time with Quinn where I'll be coming to a web TV station near you. If you would like your artists or any of your managers to promote any of, of your promotions out there, you can get in contact with Drumlin Media at tv.com or you can contact Quinn's Country Time at gmail.com or Drumlin Media at gmail.com. We, we have now uh, one member of the public, not public, but, but uh, an actual uh, proprietor of the Lavi Inn here with us tonight, Mr. Seamus Farley, himself and his good wife run the Lavi Inn, and they bring good country music into the region and have done for a number of years. Seamus, welcome here to the show. Good evening, Seamus, and thank you for having me here this evening. You're more than welcome, you're more than welcome. Thank you, Seamus. And Seamus, maybe you could tell us a bit about... How long were you running country music there in the Lavi Inn? Well, I suppose we're in the guts of 15 or 16 years, you know. Well, probably over 20 years since we started, you know. Uh, we had, had run a nightclub for a good few years and then things changed around and we started the country music, which was a huge success. Right. And still is. Uh, we've played all the big names from over the years and that, and we had fantastic. People loved to dance, liked a bit of dancing and liked to get out and about and bit of social yeah people that. probably like Declan Ernie and Mick Flavin and Mike Denver and That's Robert right. Mazzell big but names like that play them all yes. play them all Susan McCann yes you know, Philomena, Philomena Begley Philomena Begley yeah. um, Keir McGilligan there was over absolutely the years an awful lot of fantastic them, yeah. bands yeah, absolutely enough, fabulous yeah. bands there's no doubt about that so um, the country music there's still a great hunger for music people love a bit of music people have to get out and about there is, the, there is a great hunger for country music yeah, out there, there right? Indeed, Pe yeah. People really love to get out and about and That's enjoy right. the music. And even when, when you see them in the venue there, they're just going and, and in full swing. And, it's and good they exercise love. as well. It is. It yeah. actually doubles it's up. It's a two-on-one or whatever. <laughs> uh, we also have been doing the lounge entertainment for from day one as well on a Saturday and Sunday night in the lounge. And it's great dancing atmosphere there as well. We play all the local bands. Like over the years, we had the Lavi Trio uh, Eddie Owens, Big Pat, so many to mention. All his you know bands, I mean? and, and even as Father Field is from Mana, Armagh, and even uh, Donegal bands as well, too. And all all Kildare yeah. has seen there, like no, right. another man there, Philip English as That's well, right, too. Uh, a great on new him. one on the block as well, too. That's Very good. That's all right. Every one of the bands there was great, and you're, you're doing them over the weekend as well, too, and, and doing exceptionally That's well. That's right, with those. yeah, yeah, it was very entertaining now. Um, as I say, we just uh, put a new floor in the function room there. We probably have one of the bigger floors around, you know what I mean? Yeah. In the Midlands or near enough. Oh, so as, as floors goes, it, it, it is a big floor yeah, there. It's a the big floor there. It is a have, good floor. It is new and it's fantastic. It's people say it's a fantastic floor. The floor has to be right and a bit of granite on it. And that's right. It, it, it does. It, yeah. it, it helps the movement of the foot on the floor. Movement. It does. Yes, yeah, it definitely right. does. And it certainly has got all that. Yes. And then even the bands themselves, they love playing there because the atmosphere is a very homely and yeah. friendly atmosphere that's there right. within the Lavi yeah, Inn. The, the acoustics are very good for sound and that. It is. It's very, very good. The bands love playing it. Yeah. You know? So um, we have changed it a little bit now. The, People were not going out as much as they were to the dancing at this last this recession hit us like recession you know. probably ha has yeah. taken its toll on, on, its toll on people, yeah. Bit, you know, so we have moved on now that we're doing adult dancing on a Saturday night. We just launched it three weeks ago with John Hogan. Right. And it was a huge success. And there's a few refreshments as well, you know. And, very good, and very good. And uh, what time did they start at? Well, funny enough, we've gone for early. We are ten thirty on the button, right. the music starts regardless, and the band has to be on stage at that time, because I think it's a policy that you have to have a starting time, people know you start at 10.30, that's fine, and it goes from 10.30 to 1 o'clock, and well, the feedback is fantastic, people love the area, that's getting two and a half hours entertainment, we the refreshments are there, we keep the music going, we don't stop the music throughout the refreshment people. No, that, that that's tonight. one thing I would find that people like to have, yeah. the, regardless of the refreshment, yeah. the music keeps on going keeps as well going, too. Yes, yes. And and people like to get out early as well, a good group, because they don't want to be out late all night and they like to be home in a reasonable yeah. hour and that certainly fits into that. Because yeah. people are travelling a long journey to us now, uh, yeah. like you're talking maybe people 20, 30 mile radius or further, you know what I mean? That's so right. just to travel back home, you know, one o'clock's a nice time to be finished at. And you can have a bit of a chat when the dance is over. And, 
and move on. Then. And I know from from being there in the Lavi Inn myself and on, on numerous occasions there as well. And I found and I spoke to an awful amount of people there from Longford, from Mead, from Loud as well, Monaghan there, yeah. from Anna. It, it it covers a great catchment yeah, area. From all over the country, they've had over the years like they've come from all over the country too. As you know, we we well recognised with the country music and that, and people like there's something about the Lavi and they like to come to do their dancing in the Lavi Inn, you know. So. We are happy with that. If they are happy to come, we are happy well, to have them. Well, certainly. And once you have the right artists there performing in the thing there, and the advertisement gets out there as well, that's right. and that's what Country Time is all about, because we're out there and we're helping yeah. and helping people like yourself there to get your venues promoted and the that's artists right. promoted and as well, and, and help to boost it as TV. well too. Com. What what uh, have you uh, now coming up now uh, within the, this maybe Saturday well, night? Well, this now? Saturday night we're uh, Liam Manning is on stage at ten thirty, and he's a fantastic act. Yes, and uh, no doubt people will be happy to him. There's no doubt about that. And Saturday week the twenty second we have Dave Lawler. First time I had him in a while. I believe right. he's doing a fantastic job. He's back. Uh, he's back, and then we have Anthony McBrien from Anna's own very own good we, we we had Anthony here by, back there some weeks yeah. ago too and Anthony is a fabulous artist fabulous there too artist, he was in the yeah. studio and I have to say he, he really come across exceptionally well yeah. and he is a brilliant brilliant singer no we're difference. playing the strongest in the country like we have uh, we sat down and we looked at it and we said listen this 15 years is grand but people were a bit reluctant to go every week or mm. on and off probably the recession is People are looking at the money as everybody else is because you have to. So we decided that we go with a uh, very high caliber bands, three piece, two piece, three piece, and four piece bands. That wasn't costing as much money. Then we could drop the door admission. Mm. So we have dropped the door admission to eight euro, and as I said, the refreshments are there as well, and people seem to be very happy with it. They're having a good night's entertainment, and we're not. And and, and it is exceptionally reasonable that is, and and for two people there, like you know, it is yeah. very exceptionally. It's good. very reasonable. People have to get out. You know, at the end of the day, I think people got into this thing that people weren't going out as much and that. And you get out of a habit of not going out, and then you get into a rut. Yeah. But it's important to get out and about. And I can see the faces there, uh, they're back out, people I haven't seen for a while, and they're really enjoying it, you know what I mean? Well, people will be there uh, that hadn't been there in a while, and now they find the music is back in full swing, That's the right, price yeah. has dropped dramatically, and you still have got fabulous artists as well. Fantastic, Equally, yeah. in every, every bit as good as, as the big artists oh, as well, too. Oh, good. Yeah, and, 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 and people are getting value for money, and that's what people want. Well, that's the way it is now, in every walk, people want value for money, you know what I mean? And um, think the thing has changed and that's it money is not plentiful anymore and people have to watch what they're spending so if they can have a good night out two people for 16 euros they're probably on a couple of drinks or whatever they want to do and they enjoy it and we're happy enough to provide that service well that's what i'm saying if, if you're looking roughly all around like like when you when you take traveling expenses all in the drink and all in like you know it, it mightn't even cost 50 euro that's right yeah that. well that's the way we're looking at it you know what i mean um you have to change well that's it because be, before this you were looking at maybe 30 euros for two that's people right, yeah. plus plus your expense and drink afterwards and you run into very big money big and, money, and yeah. people just couldn't afford that well that's just the bottom line people you know what i mean i know these bigger bands have to get the money because there's five or six in the band or whatever the case may be but it's down to what uh, door admission at the end of the day people want to go out have a good night without going over the top. Yeah. Well, this is just it. Anyway. And it, it is great to see people like yourself, and you in particular there, and Pauline as well, yeah. you know, that you've actually seen a niche in the market there, and you've moved, and you've grabbed it, and it seems to be working exceptionally Fantastic. well for you. We were just over the moon about it. Uh, first of September was the first night with John Hogan, and it was just unbelievable. People travelled long, long journeys from four or five different counties, you know, as well as the local people, and and it was fantastic. It was a great mix of people, great atmosphere, lovely, lovely people throughout. Good nice enjoyment. Oh, there's no and like even any new and upcoming artists as well. Then too, you can also you know bring them in as of well, course, give really, them yeah. a start yeah. there, and yeah. it, it'll be a, a, a great step yeah. for them. Like you yeah. know, and well, we're looking at the best in the country. You know what I mean? It's going to be the best in the country. Well, there's certainly the there, and, and you mentioned Liam Mannering there, like, and he yeah. is absolutely fabulous. Fantastic. And uh, we we are actually there, like, uh, Quinn Entertainment Queen, are hoping to travel to your venue tomorrow night and uh, interview Liam. 
within your premises as well in the lavvy in there and talk to him and record with him as well too oh. and maybe put that out next week so we're looking forward like you to, to meet you're with him and, and yourselves there uh, tomorrow night within the lavvy in you'll be met very welcome no, no, thank, thank you very much Seamus and, and this this is what, what we like we like to see new artists out there and we like to see how they're playing, how they're getting on, and and give them a bit of a boost and and, and a jib up on on the on the scene as well, yes. and, and that's that's what it's all about. And Saturday, Sunday night we have Lange Entertainment, and we play the best of what's out there as well on a Sunday. There's well, no cover charge in the Lange on a Sunday night, yeah. and everybody's welcome there. And it's a great night, and there's great atmosphere and. Everybody has a chat with one another. It's great, so, right. great socialising. Well, well, it's great there. Even uh, you can go in there on great bands. There is no cover charge there uh, in, on the Sunday nights. Sunday there, night, even yes. you can go in, enjoy the music. There's there's still a bit of dancing that goes on there as well, and people just love that as well too. But on another note there, and we're going back to even the food-wise there now, when people would often maybe come early, have a bit of food there, even whether it be Sunday evening or whether it be maybe Saturday evening, you can have the food there, or even any time of the That's day. Right. Yeah, well, the food, funny enough, we started about 21 years ago. Food was a very small part of our business. It was probably about 2 or 3%. Right. And it was more bar, we're concentrating on nightclub business and that. But it has changed dramatically um, in the last, 10, 12 years, food is a big part of the business and very important. We serve food from 10 in the morning till 9 at night, 7 days a week. We have 10 breakfast, then lunch and a full evening menu. And that goes 7 days a week. We just launched the Crown Oak Bistro uh, back 2 or 3 months ago. We have a new menu there and a, a good wine list and that. And it's, it's going very well. I like that people come in to the dance, you'd like to go and have a bit of food and maybe a couple of drinks and then head up to the dance. And it's kind of a package for the night, you know. Yeah. It, it, it certainly is a fabulous venue for for yeah. food. And it's even very well located on the main entry there from, from Dublin to Cavan as well too. It doesn't matter where you go. People, it's a passing trade and you tend, like maybe if the town is too chocolate block there, you can go in, you can pull in the levee in, no, no hassle. Get your bit of food and go on your journey as well. Or if you if you want to stay on for entertainment, it's yeah. there as well. It's all there, and the parking is important as well. It too, is. You know? And it's, the Lavi is, is a kind of a landmark. You know what I mean? The people all over the country know what the Lavi is because when you're at a crossroads and if a place like that's it, people, it's even if you're going somewhere, well, if you hit the Lavi in there, you know where you are. You know what I mean? It's a kind of a landmark from that view and it's great that we with the football throughout the summer it was fantastic with Donegal doing so well this year that's right this is uh, absolutely brilliant and uh, and I'm sure like you know you, you'd like to be in the northern counties there and, and also Donegal wish them all the best oh very much so like the, oh, I would like to wish Mayo and Donegal the best but Donegal have been very good to us over the years and this year unbelievable uh, we get an awful lot of people. We even get the Dublin supporters going to Clonus when they're playing there, right. and then we get the Donegal people going to Dublin. So we wish them the very best of luck on Sunday, and we have um, a special menu on for people that's in, uh, on their way. Yeah. And it will, it's ideally located for, for people actually coming and going. And win, lose or draw, you know, it's a place where people can go in and they can have food and have a drink, discuss and kind of trash out the game of, of where we went wrong and where we didn't go wrong. It, it, it's certainly, it's a home of football as well That's too. It, yeah. like, you know, we'll have the game yeah. recorded on Sunday, no doubt, when the Donegal guys are heading back down the road. So hopefully they have success and we can play it and when we can see exactly. Oh. And... Um, uh, anybody to just get a ticket from Donegal or Mayo who's living around the Cavan area we're going to have a big day in the lab in on the 24 refreshments served if they want to come and watch the match very with good, three or four good. big screens there so very good and for people there if, if one can just see there behind Seamus at the moment there yeah there's a good picture of the lavvy in there like you know and it, it, it looks idyllic and, and and looks fabulous there uh, on screen and people will recognize it no matter how they're going by the lavvy in on the entry it's there very plainly to be seen it's a fabulous place there's no doubt about that and a place well worth visiting whether it's for food whether it's for food Football and particularly for dancing as well, like you know, Saturday, Sunday, it doesn't matter, the music is there all the time. And 
Anyway, uh, Seamus, thank you very much for coming in. And from Country Time and Quinn, we wish you all the best with your venue and all your music and fort coming there. And we look forward to talking to you and, and the crew on Saturday night in the Lavian and to Liam Mannering as well too. And we look forward maybe in the future as well to having you back in again and talking to you about other events that you may be running in the Lavian, maybe concerts and shows and other events that might be coming up as well too. Well, no doubt we'll be doing that, Seamus. We'll do that. And again, thanks it's in the very blood much. of the stage now to do it and I want to wish CavanTV.com and yourself Country Time with Quinn the very best of luck Seamus thank, thank, thank you very much, very much anyway too. and now we, we have a, a band who's coming into us <coughs> within the next two weeks there they're heading off with Philomena Begley at the moment there on a tour out to Spain there and it'll be Chuck June and the Gamblers or to people who've known it'll be Chuck and June and we'll have just a sample of their music now coming up for anybody Look, keep a lookout to Country Time and Quinn. We will be having Chuck and June here in the studio very, very soon. Been all downhill for me since baby walked away. Well, I'm down here at the bottom now, and I guess that's where I stay. I'm looking for the answers, but all that I've seen here is the same old lonely, phony atmosphere. I'm just Cozy 
little word Cause he's a good old boy Good for nothing Good at lying Welcome back. Welcome back. Wasn't that absolutely fabulous? And I do look forward to having Chuck and June here in the studio here within the coming fortnight anyway. Anyway, we're going on out to the gig guide and we're going to start off now with Jimmy Buckley. Jimmy Buckley is Monday the 10th on uh, the 19th of September in the Glen Eagle Hotel in Killarney. Declan Ernie, he's off this week at the moment getting himself ready for the Hooli in the Sun which is taking place from the 22nd to the 29th of September and they're off to Santa Panza with a host of stars and that would include Chuck and June. We have a new and upcoming star here as well Johnny Brady on Friday the 14th of September the Hunting Lodge in Bronson Court there in Newtown Stewart in Tyrone Saturday the 15th of September Racket Hall at Ross Cray in Tipperary and Sunday the 16th of September in Woodlands Adair County Limerick and we have Mike Denver Friday the 14th of September in Patrician Hall a Carrick Moor County Tyrone and Saturday the 15th of September the Mourn Country Hotel in Newry Sunday the 16th of September the Hazel Hotel in Monastreven and we have again Johnny Brady again, there's that much of demand on this lad here now that, that he is just going phenomenal. And Monday the 17th of September in the Breffney Arms Hotel in Arva, he is doing a guest spot there and that's in aid of the hospice in Cavan. And Tuesday the 18th of September, the McWilliam Park Hotel there in Clare Morris in County Mayo. Monaghan Gigs, the Four Seasons Hotel in Monaghan, Sunday the 16th of September, you have Lisa McHugh. Terry's Lounge in Monaghan, Sunday the 16th of September there, you have the fabulous Noel Cassidy. And the Glen Cairn Hotel in Castle Blaney, Friday the 14th of September, is Mick Flavin, that's there tonight. Social Dancing, Wednesday the 19th of September, is Show Bud. And in the Lounge in the Glen Cairn, Friday the 14th of September there, you have Andrea Rice. The Ardbine Hotel in Navan, Monday the 16th of September, you have the one and only Dominic Kerwin. Absolutely fabulous act. The Cavan Gigs, the Orchard Lounge in Cavan there. Sunday the 16th of September, John Glenn and the Wranglers. Another great band there. The Cross Lounge in Stradone, Saturday the 15th of September, Matthew Kearney and his band. And you have the Bellamont Arms in Coothill, Friday, Saturday the 14th and 15th of September, Jerry Whelan's Memorial Weekend is an Irish music session. And Sunday, the 16th of September, Tom Jones, not the Tom Jones. <laughs> and that goes on from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Monday, the 17th of September there, Rainbow. You have the Erigal Hotel in Quidhill on Wednesday, the 19th of September, Country Storm. You have the Hideout in Bailiborough, Saturday, the 15th of September, Country Roots. And Brady's Lounge in uh, Balignà with Sunday the 15th of September there, you have Country Style. The Lavi Inn and Cavan Ballroom, we just had the proprietor there, Seamus Farley in here, just some moments ago on the show, Saturday the 15th of September, 10.30 to 1 sharp, we have the one and only Liam Manorine. We look forward to meet them there tomorrow night. And Sunday the 16th of September, Frank Nelson, that's playing in, in the lounge in the Lavi Inn. The Harbour Bar in Biltorbet, Saturday the 15th of September, New Blues. And Sunday the 16th of September, Billy Mack. 
Breffney Arms Hotel in Narva, Cavan, Monday the 7th of September, country night of the year, in aid of the hospice, with a gala of stars starting Patrick Feeney, Johnny Brady, Cathy Dorkin, Noel Cassidy, Busy Fingers, and too many more to mention. It will be a fabulous night there. That brings tonight's show to an end. And be sure to join me at the same time next week for more of what's happening on the country scene. And I wave you goodbye. And maybe we'll finish out tonight there with another song from Chuck and June. Good night from Country Time and Quinn.